Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're ready to get started. This is, uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Uh, it's made by Chinese Room, who did, uh, Dear Esther, did, uh, Amnesia, Machine for Pigs, and, uh, now a PS4 exclusive in Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. So pretty cool. Uh, I'm excited to jump in. I don't think it's going to be like a traditional type of experience. Uh, there's not going to be like questing or anything like that. This is going to be about exploration and about uh, trying to figure out this world as we go. So uh, I hope that you guys are in for an interesting, uh, interesting experience because I can almost guarantee that that's going to be the best way to describe it. This oh, is Dr. Catherine set the vibes. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. So is that us then? We're Kate? I mean, if they keep this music up the whole time, I'm going to be very excited. Yeah, I'm getting kind of vanishing of Ethan Carter vibes as well, Leonton. Um, I agree with you. Oh, this is it. We're in. Like, this is it, guys. We're in. Like, no directions, no nothing, I don't think. No jumping. Vallis Observatory. I mean, we should obviously check this out. There's a little map here. So here's the observatory. Uh, we are exactly at the arrow. What else is here? We've got Tipworth Forest, Appleton's Farm, Little Tipworth, uh, Lakeside, Haverton Waters. What did this say? Devil's, Devil's Gorge? That sounds good. These are maps of stars, I guess, from the observatory. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. Okay, so we are not Kate. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. Okay, sketch. So I'm actually, uh, I've got a notebook here and I'm going to be trying to take some notes uh, as much as I can while uh, while we listen to these radios or find whatever else. So basically there's the, the girl Kate who's making these broadcasts. Uh, she says the event has left markers. Use them to find what you're looking for. I don't know what we're looking for. So there's that. Um, answers are in the light. I also... Oh, nice. Is that... Those are the gates, are they not? That we were just at? 1415? One, one, five. One, Listen to this code. Two five. One six. Okay, I'm writing this down. I don't know if it's one six. One six. One five. One seven. Yep. One two five. Okay. We've got we've got some type of. I don't know if they're coordinates or what. 
This is awesome. Okay, what do we got going on here? We got wrenches. What is this powering? Maybe just these lights? <laughs> Numbers go as you're looking for what you're trying to look for. Yeah, right? That's true. Now, I don't know what kind of things we can interact with, what we can't. What is that ringing? Can you guys hear the game okay? Because if you need me to, uh, I can turn it up a little bit. This is a special Clive. announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Okay. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. I feel like the worst possible thing to tell people to, like, when you want them to stay calm is just, just stay calm. Everything's gonna be fine. Uh, no one else is alive except for you, so, yeah. Everything's gonna work out great. So we've got a, a Kate. Uh, did she say she was a doctor? I kind of missed that, uh, but I think she was a doctor. And then Clive, he's part of this emergency committee, which is probably making all these, these broadcasts. What the hell? Now, do cars have radios we can listen to? I mean, there's a little CB radio in here, but... I don't think I can use it. Looks like, for the most part, right now, we're kind of being... ...guided. Whoa, what the shit was that? What is that? There's, like, weird, like... ...things happening. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, I don't know. My god. Oh, these are those little light things, probably. They said, look at- look for the light, use them to find what you're looking for. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, oh! What the hell? I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so... Jeez, okay. That was unnecessary. Oh, this is Kate. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No, Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. This is awesome! Okay. Okay, okay. So, there was like a janitor, or like a groundskeeper, I guess, named Graham. Um, he was concerned about the gate being locked to get to the observatory, or them being locked in there. Uh, it seems like Kate is the one that we talked to earlier. She is with, uh, this Steven guy. They're obviously together, but having some potential, uh, relationship issues. Or issues, if you're from Great Britain. She did not- you're right. You're right. LOL says, uh... <laughs> LOL? Is that supposed to be like LOL? That's awesome. Uh... She didn't say I love you back, which means... Maybe it's one side, but I think it sounds like they just had a fight or something. But I could be completely wrong. Uh, Absalom, am I gonna play Soma? Yes, god yes. I can't wait. Oh. We got more light. 
I actually, I really want to play more horror games. I love that. I hate how I feel when I'm playing them, but I love doing it. Jeremy. What the hell is that? So when I see these lights, I have to, like, tilt my controller, but that one now is just gone. What, do, what does it mean, Jeremy? Is that a person? A place? I'm gonna follow the light. It looks like it's trying to tell me something. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing? Well, I suppose from that we can assume that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Boughton wandered off that way before they closed the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. But it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle, in Shropshire. Shropshire. The world's gone stark raving mad. I've a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Bob, and I'll personally deliver it for you, once this blockade is removed anyway. Come on, Bob. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery won't open itself. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Cracking headache all of a sudden. Hmm, okay. So there's some type of quarantine? Jess, no, I haven't played uh, Penumbra. Should I? Is it good? I didn't even catch that more than a little odd. <laughs> it's funny. Now, I just assume that if I can't go through it, there's no, like, magic way to unlock these things. Fallen Flames, yes. Uh, that releases on Tuesday, I believe, right? And, uh, I'm not gonna be in town this week. I'm going to Toronto, actually. Um, I'd really like to play Until Dawn, but I'll probably do it as a stream. I was planning on doing, uh, next Sunday, doing a stream of, uh, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Or until dawn. Uh, I'm not sure which yet. But I won't be able to get to it until, um, at the earliest the video would be on Saturday next week. Oh, hold on. We got phone calls. I'll chase the Jeremy light, but we've got other things happening. Come on. Who's that? What? Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! It's in the floor! What? It's in the phones. So, whatever caused this is traveling through the electronics. Um, he just mentioned that he used the optical array. We can pick up a little bit of extra speed using the R2. I don't know if it takes a long time to, like, get going or if this is considered, like, like a jog. Okay, is this the Jeremy light? Yeah, it definitely wants us to follow him. Or it, or whatever. But you see all these- there's these weird little, like... If you just look at the screen, you notice these little... Almost like warps. That is so weird. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. Smokers. 
We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core ideas sound, you just got the numbers slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh what all you want. What did he do? But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Now, I don't know if any everything that we run into Oh, June 87. Thank you for subscribing. That's awesome. I don't know if everything that we run into is uh like in chronological order. Okay, I've got to get back there. The stars at night. Now, people are asking about, like, any stuttering. That's, uh, in the game. It's- I think it's really pushing what a PS4 can do. Uh, it's not terrible. It's not, obviously, fast-paced, so... Oh, I can go in here. Jeez, okay. I thought unless it showed me, I couldn't do it, so... I'll have to... be doubly sure. I hear the phone. Wait a sec. Look, there's still cigarettes making smoke. This must have happened, like, just. Like, super recently. All ale of the day, 50 pence. I'm, I hope pence is correct. Local fish and chips. I can't get back there. Now, how would I get into the backyard? I guess I'll go out this door and see if there's a way. Because I can hear that dial tone. Got a playground. Here we go. Oh, really? It's locked. Oh, I hear codes again. Here we go. I think I got it. Zero zero one one two two zero seven two four. Yep, we got it. Okay. I keep looking, but it makes no sense. The area we picked the pattern up from can no longer be located on the scope. That's just See you later, Soros. Thanks for coming. You can see significant changes to the quality of the ambient light in that part of the sky. It's overexposed, like a Polaroid left in direct sunlight. Yeah, so good observation on the Walkman. We're definitely mid-80s. Um... Let's check out these cars here. I'm thinking we probably can't open any of these. Hey June, no problem dude, I appreciate it. Thank you. I have fun making videos, that's why I do it. You know, they uh, what the hell? see me as an outsider Whoa. here as well. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? You know, I understand it's difficult. That's all I'm saying. Your lot up at Vallis have never mixed with the local community. 
People here, they don't really understand what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. It's about the community. Be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Lovely day. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, Mrs. Uncle Jeremy is a Wilson. priest, perhaps? It's Dr. Collins. Lady scientist. Whatever next. Good morning, Barbara. <laughs> Father Wheeler. You really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. If they just stay out of my way. Okay. Yeah, Kai Cam, I kind of get interstellar vibes as well, which is awesome. I loved that movie. That was so cool. Even though it took me a while to wrap my tiny brain around what happened. Stars at night. So these sequences of numbers are definitely going to have an impact somewhere. Um, I mean, they better, because I'm going to have a notebook full of them. Yeah, I'm Rothiel, you're right, like, all the cars are just boom, like, open. Looks like something was happening, people tried to escape, and then just boom, raptured. <laughs> Gone. Um, it's creepy. Quarantine, do not attempt to leave, you'll be detained. Uh, it's been quarantined and sealed as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Okay. So we're in Shropshire, 1982. Um, please keep your radio on at all times. God damn it. I hate locked doors. But, I hear more numbers. Must hear the numbers. One two zero six one two one two one one. Extraordinary. The whole thing reminds me of high school. <laughs> Seeing Mars for the first time. That same rush of excitement. <laughs> My hands are shaking. Jeez, okay. What has she stumbled on? Now, I'm writing these numbers down in pairs. Like, 1-6 is the first one. Uh, well, that one is 1-2, one, 0-6, 1-2, two, 1-2, one, two, one, two, one, one. Now, I don't know... I'm thinking, like, these could reference letters or something, but they're all pairs of... There's five different pairs in each one that we've heard so far. So I don't know if it's letters. <laughs> Zero four five one. yeah. Fahrenheit. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, Fahrenheit 451 is a book by uh, Ray Bradbury, and uh, it's referenced a lot in in other types of uh, pop culture, like video games specifically, uh, using codes like 0451, 451. Uh, it's, the Bioshock series did it, I think. Um, Deus Ex has done it, and uh, that's like the, I believe that's the temperature at which book paper burns. I've never actually finished the whole book of, uh, Ray Bradbury. Or, of Ray Bradbury. Fahrenheit 451. I need a kick option. Or crowbar. If these numbers end up not meaning anything, I may kill someone. <laughs> oh, look at this little greenhouse back here. What's happening? Why do we have different noise? <laughs> like, I'm half expecting for, like, a fireball to come and just, like, smite me. Or smote? Smite or smote? And just boom. You failed. Okay, I feel good about this door. I feel really good about it. Yes! That door is giving off good vibes. 607. Hey, I'm gonna write this down. 
Could that be the specific time that this all happened? Shropshire, 1982, 6.07am. There's a lot of people in the bar smoking cigarettes at 6.07am, if that's the case. Yeah, look! 6.07! I mean, it could be PM. You could make the argument that it's PM. Because I just assume when it's 0607 that it's like, you know, whoa, what? How did I just... Oh. Okay, good to know. I hope this door doesn't frickin' open. Okay, good. <laughs> I do not need to be going... Hello? Oh. Hello? Hi. Oh, Amanda, I thought you'd left town. We, we tried. We did try, but they've closed all the roads and you can't get through. And, uh oh. And then George and Ben said they had headaches, and then they started. That's bleeding. a second headache reference we've had. But it was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around, and um, we saw the house was open, and I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids and. And then Neil and I started bleeding as well. Oh, what? It is all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed. And you know, we thought Barbara wouldn't mind as there were only children. And... And I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. What? I never came back down. Just be too frightened to go look. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. Manage that, yes. Please help now, me. Now, of course I'll help you. Are we frozen in time? Neil? Neil, are you there? What the hell is this noise? Let's go upstairs and look first. Okay, so, it's interesting. I don't know, A, if we're frozen in time. Um, uh, we could be. Doesn't really matter. Uh, two, they're talking as if, like, this event has happened. And they're still there. Um, or they're just kind of dying off one by one, or whatever. Like, she's saying they were trying to leave her and her husband, Neil, and then the kids had headaches and started bleeding. So they bring them back here to, like, clean them up, because they can't leave anyways. He goes up to clean them, doesn't come back down for six hours, and then... This Father Jeremy comes in, who I think is like father isn't priest. Um, and now we're going to investigate that. Yeah, Sasquatch, good idea. I will check the clock to see if it is changing. Um, it's a good idea. Oh god. I'm not I'm not my I'm not mentally prepared for that yet. Okay, I'm mentally prepared now. <laughs> They're just gone. That's- that's the whole thing, they're just... gone. What is that? Hi, Mommy. What is this? Oh, this is the blood from the nosebleeds. Yeah, that's it, they're just gone. Operation Wood Pigeon? What? I should actually check out these authors. We've seen a few books like J.T. Yates. Let's go check the clock again. Jazz, I don't know if the light things are memories or what they are. Yeah, time is still the same, 6.07.
Okay, let's check out this room. Oh. See, this clock's ticking, but it's definitely not moving. I don't know if that's a big deal or not. Oh. More numbers, I'm guessing. One, four, zero, four, zero, eight, zero, eight, zero, one. I missed that fourth set. One, four, zero, four, zero, eight, zero, three. Three. Zero, one. Okay, so, um, Everybody that really wants to get into this, I'm going to advise you to grab a piece of paper or a book. <laughs> and I'm going to give you the four sets of numbers that we've gotten so far. Okay? Uh, I'm going to start with the very first one that we had. And actually, I'll, I'll start numbering these as well. Two, three, and four. So the very first set that we found were these numbers. One, six. One, four. One, five. One, seven. 2-5. Again, the very first set we found. 1-6, one, 1-4, one, 1-5, one, 1-7, one, 2-5. The second set that we found. 0-0, zero, zero, one, one, two, two, zero, 7 2 4 Again, 0-0, zero, zero, one, one, two, two, zero, 7 2 4 The third set that we found. 1-2, 0-6, 1-2, 1, 2, 1, 1. Again. 1, 2, 0, 6. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1. And the fourth set that we found. 1, 4, 0, 4, 0, 8, 0, 3, 0, 1. Again. 1, 4, 0, 4, 0, 8, 0, 3, 0, 1. So, just so everybody's on the same page. Okay, I think we should leave this house now. This will probably just take us... Yeah. AC's a bit rusted up. Oh, hello. We haven't been able to open any of these big gates. And that looks like that's going to remain the case. I'm thinking number equals letters as well, but which they are, I have no idea. Hey Jazz, if you don't mind, um, if you could keep an ongoing list like that, we could just pop it into the chat every so often. That would be really cool so that everybody is on the exact same page. Oh, we've got another light here. Look at all these warps happening. I don't know how else to describe them. I'm trying to like tune this thing. There we go. It's like a radio kind of like. What are you doing? I saw you. I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? What have you done with her? He's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. Look, get off. No, it's time to stop it. Weedy little shit. Give it's me the mine. Can. Give me the I can. I need it. Grow up. starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ! Wow. Oh, look at- I just- whoa, when we see that, like, the whole place goes dark. 